What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining us, I really appreciate it. So guys, today's video is about how to wire any ethernet cable. We get lots of questions from viewers and subscribers on how to wire ethernet cables correctly. They also wanna know the easiest way to do this and which tools do you need. So today, we'll go through all the supplies you need as well as the tools. And I'll give you the pricing as we go along the way. And trust me, wiring an ethernet cable is pretty easy. And I'll take you through every step of the process to make this as easy as possible. So first, let's go through the supplies you're gonna to need to wire the ethernet cable. And obviously, you're gonna need ethernet cable. And this is Cat6 riser cable. And I'm not gonna wire Cat5e today because I don't have any. And if you follow my channel, you know that our house is all Cat6. But the technique I'm gonna show you today works for Cat5e, Cat6, and Cat7. So like I said, you need a cable. We're gonna do Cat6. You also need RJ45 connectors. Make sure they're Cat6 as well. These are the easy kind. I'll talk about that later. An optional is a wire boot. And this boot will protect the RJ45 connector from damage. I recommend these, but it's optional. And that's it for supplies. Now what tools do you need? Well, really all you're gonna need is a crimping tool. That's it. Because this crimping tool also has a blade for doing like cutting and stripping of wires. So that's it guys. These are all the supplies and tools you'll need to wire an ethernet cable. Like I said before, we'll go through every step of the process and I'll give you the pricing for everything as we go along the way. We're gonna take it nice and slow and get it done right. So, let's get started. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is cut your ethernet cable to length. And make sure to add about four inches. This gives two inches for each side to make the RJ45 connection. So use the stripping tool on your crimper to remove the sheath. Just a few twists is all you need. This crimping tool is an easy crimper, also known as a pass-through crimping tool. And this tool was $29. There are cheaper brands, but buyer beware, they may not last. Next, unravel all four pairs of wires. Now you wanna go ahead and cut off the white pull string, and then unravel all eight pairs of wires. This Cat6 riser cable is 23 gauge. This cable is from a company called Southwire, and 500 feet of this cable is around $95, which is not bad. This Cat6 riser cable does not have a plastic inner core, so this cable is pretty easy to work with. Okay, after you unravel all the wires, take all eight wires and straighten them out flat. The better of a job you do straightening these wires and making them flat, the easier it is to put inside the RJ45 connector. And if you're gonna use a wire boot, go ahead and put it on now. And a 100 pack of these wire boots is $8. All right, now I'm gonna cut the wire straight across. I found this makes it easier to organize the wires into the T568B configuration. When the wires are too long, they can get kind of tangled up. So once you've cut the wires, go ahead and organize the wires. And here's the wiring diagram. You have white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. Once you have these all organized, make sure the wires are straight and flat again and then insert them into the RJ45 connector like this. And you can get 100 of these RJ45 connectors, the Cat6, for about 20 bucks. Push the wires all the way up as far as possible. That blue sheath needs to go up all the way inside the RJ45 connector, as far as it will go. Now insert the RJ45 connector into the RJ45 connector on your crimping tool. And make sure it's pushed in all the way, as far as it'll go. Then squeeze down until you hear it snap. And you can do it one or two more times just to make sure it's a good connection. Now pull it out of the tool and take a close examination to make sure it looks good. You can even take a close up picture with your phone to make sure the wires are in the correct order and that everything looks good. Now slide the boot on and you're done. And now do the exact same thing to the other side of the cable. And now you've got a Cat6 patch cable and now you can plug it in and test it. You can test it using a network device like a PC or a switch, or if you have a network cable tester, use that. So that's it guys, that's how you wire an ethernet cable with an RJ45 plug. It works for Cat6, Cat5e, and Cat7. And guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And if you liked this video and you found it helpful, Make sure to like it and share it. Well guys, we're all done here, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.